John Tavares is a Toronto Maple Leaf. Holy crap, champs. Um, yeah, I'm recording this like July 1st, and John Tavares just signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, I'm going to hurry it up here. It's like 700 degrees in here, but yeah, John Tavares is a Toronto Maple Leaf now, and um, I'm going to be cautiously optimistic. Um, yeah, Leaf fan. I can't be too happy. Okay. So, we got pickups here. As you see, that the big pile didn't bother sliding it in. Um, a lot of cards. We got almost 50 cards. Most of them are the future watch autographs. There's another card that isn't. Literally, one other card. But, um, got some 1718s, and we got a wide variety of years after that. So, let's just start off with 1718, because there's only around 15 of them. And the first card here, I'm... I apologize, okay? I wish I could get a better one. But this is all I could get for right now of Jordan Schmaltz. If you've seen this guy's Future Watch autographs, they're fantastic. They have funny quotes. They have motivational things. I mean, it's just just corny jokes. It's just amazing, his stuff. And some would say Jordan Swish Schmaltz. Um, ah, I need to get one of those. But um, for now, I got this one. <laughs> this goes for like less than 5 bucks. Some of them go for like close to 200 bucks. So... Yeah, Jordan Schmaltz. Um, this is lame. I'm sorry. Next up, 1718. We got Dennis Gurionov. He didn't look too great for Texas in the Calder Cup final. I um, also want to point out that Val Nichushkin's back. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see on Gurionov. Maybe he's a little bit of ways away. He's a couple years younger than Nichushkin. Um, next up, we have Lucas Walmark, and I didn't even realize how many Canes, Hurricanes, Future Watch autographs, and this base autographs, Knee Cash is also another one, are in this. There's so many Hurricanes ones, just like Roland McHugh in here. There's just so many of them. Don't know if that's a good thing, though, if you have a bunch of rookies. I mean, that means you're rebuilding. Obviously, the Leafs had like 700 last year. Um, but yeah, next up. Vili Huso, the Finn, finished goalie for the Blues. Um, a lot of people think this guy's pretty good, so I kind of agree. We'll see. Goaltending is up in the air. He could be the backup next year. I think Carter, Hearn, uh, Carter Hutton signed with, what, the Sabres? And then we got Vince Dunn. I'm definitely a big fan of Vince Dunn ever since his junior days, so yeah, pretty solid young defenseman. Next up, Arizona. They always have 700 rookies every year because they seem to be in rebuild mode around the clock, or at least since 2011. Um, Nick Merkley. Um, yeah, this guy's pretty good. Pretty good junior. Uh, not that great. <laughs> but yeah, it's recognizable. I think he was a first rounder, right? Late first rounder. Um, next up is Christian Fisher. Got got the auto patch. Um, now I got the base one. And next up, we got JT Comfort. Pretty good. Uh, JT Comfort. He's college, right? I think it was a Jersey Jersey property. Wait, actually, that could be wrong. No, no, that's Kerfoot. No, this guy's a draft pick. He's a 2013 draft pick. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. JT Confer. I need to still get a Kerfoot. Speaking of uh, college, <laughs> this guy's Colorado property. Will Butcher. Also, I just want to point out, before I continue on, because I forgot, <laughs> um, if I've done business with you, whether it's trading or buying on Instagram, uh, thank you guys. I actually really do appreciate it. Um, you guys uh, treat me well there. So um, next time I should really write down who I dealt with. But yeah, I got this one here, and I got some other ones there. I think, yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I got quite a few of these from Instagram as well. So that's cool. Will Butcher. He had a really good season. Um, I believe he, yeah, he was Colorado property signed as a college player. Speaking of Colorado, we got Tyson Jost. Um, Pretty good uh, young player. We'll see. We'll see with Tyson Jost. Um, he has good potential, but it's going to be behind Nathan McKinnon. Um, next up, I got this one a couple days ago. Um, went on an adventure with Zeri23, the champion himself. And um, went to a card shop, picked this one up for 30 bucks. It's a Nico Heischer Future Watch autograph. No. Nah, I, <laughs> I wish. No. It's not signed. I was about to say, I did say autograph. It's not signed because of the whole signing BS thing with uh, Leaf. But yeah, not signed. Nico. Still need Nolan Patrick. And since, yeah, I'll just do this one next. I got this one um, the same day for 30 bucks as well. It's Owen Tippett, Future Watch autograph inscribed. Um, 
<sighs> this guy's a little bit overhyped, don't you guys think? I think. I think he's a little bit overhyped. His stuff goes for a little bit too much. I think somebody's, some people are just trying to grasp onto like a good prospect from 1718 and people are grasping onto him a little bit more. But yeah, if there's other really good pro or good players in the rookie class, his stuff would be worth less. Next up, we have Alex Debrinkit. Um, this guy is, I'm really high on this guy. I do have the Ice Premier's Auto Patch on eBay and Everybody asks for my eBay. It's 011, all right? I'm not gonna blink it. Um, I want, I don't know, it's up there. I need a premium for the Ice Premier's RPA or else I'm not moving them, moving it. So yeah, here's the only thing that's not a freaking future watch. Chris Gibson, Young Guns. Okay, I got that in the trade on Instagram, along with this card. Patrick Eliash, future watch from 97, 98. He had a couple cups at a thousand plus points. Card's not mint, but that's all right. All right, now on, well, Elias started it. We're on to like a wide variety of years. I mean, now we're on to 03, 04. We have a Dan Hamuse, and I love those old Preds uniforms, and that's something stuck in the card sleeve. But yeah, Dan Hamuse, number to 900. I think, yeah, I had an old uh, Preds uniform like that, or jersey. But yeah, and then we had, uh, we have Jordan Tutu, absolute legend, Jordan Tutu. Um, I'm not sure where he ended up. I think he was on like Rockford Ice Hogs or he was on Chicago last I remember, but he's been around. Jordan Tutu, what a legend. Next up, Sean Bergenheim. He had a pretty decent career. I'm not sure where he is now. He's probably playing in Europe still. He's I mean all these guys in 03 or 04 are all like mid 30s at least. So yeah. Um then we got Dion. I really wanted this one. Don't ask why. I ever since I got collecting Future Watch cards, I really wanted a D on Future Watch. I don't know how much this went for back in 2006. I don't know when he was the Calder runner-up to uh, Ovi and Sid. He was third place. I don't know how much this went for, but I got this for like ten bucks. So D on what a. Let's see what he does as a king. Hopefully they get Voinov too. That'd be amazing. Imagine Dion and Voinov as a pairing. Oh man, screw you, Drew Doughty. That's the top pairing. All right, next up, we got Patrick Eves. Now, unfortunately for Patrick Eves, he has um, some sort of muscle weakening disorder. He only played two games last year. Um, did he ever try to get back in the playoffs? I don't know, but hopefully um, he gets his health in order. But yeah, he's quite the player when he's healthy. Next up, we got Ryan Carter. Not sure where Ryan Carter is. Um, He's been around. I remember he's on Jersey. And... Yeah, Ryan Carter. He's been around. I don't like those Ducks uniforms, but yeah, Ryan Carter. Next up, Toby Enstrom. As a thrasher there. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Atlanta thrashers. Man, I need to get a Kovalchuk feature watch. But yeah, Toby Enstrom. He's a solid defenseman. Is he UFA? I should pay attention. Um, I think he is. Um, Next up, we have Yaroslav Halinka. Yaroslav Holinka. I mean, I collected a bunch of 708, so I got like 17 of this guy's young gun before. Well, not 17, but still. Yeah, Yaroslav Holinka. Um, I believe he played like set. <laughs> he barely played in the NHL. That's what I'm trying to say. Next up is something. <laughs> Andrew Cogliano. And um, to see his Iron Man streak end because of something questionable, and he eh, could have got. He may. Maybe deserving, but yeah, he's no longer on the streak, which kind of sucks. This guy's still gonna play a ton of games over throughout his career. I mean, he's already at 800 something. So Andrew Cogliano, he's just a really good third line player, middle six guy. So yeah, definitely a very reliable guy. Next up, Yannick Hansen. Yannick Hansen. I'm not gonna say anything because I'm not sure where he's heading, or maybe I don't know. Is he a free? <laughs> maybe I should know. Maybe you should go back to Vancouver. Next up is uh, Mason Raymond. I'm pretty sure he's in Europe right now. He's still a pretty good player. I think he could be in the NHL, but uh, the youth movement and the NHL. That's pretty much why he's out of it, pretty much. Uh, he was on the Leafs at one point, I think. If I remember right, well, back when they were horrendous, which was pretty much my whole life. Um, Zach Bogosian. Um, what was he? One Was he third overall? Yeah, it was Stamkos, Doughty, Bogosian, Petrangelo, and Luke Shen. Top five in 2008. I think there's a couple, uh, well, Luke Shen's a complete strikeout. I mean, he's not, he's still in the league. Bogosian's decent, but, I mean, when you get drafted before, or before Petrangelo, then that's a problem. 
Next up, Bill Masterson winner, Brian Boyle. Definitely happy to have this one. Brian Boyle, Future Watch Auto. I mean, then again, a lot of people forget this guy's just a complete punching bag whenever he tries to fight. He's just a big punching bag. Um, Next up, we got Zach Boychuk. I think he was like a mid-first round pick in that year, 08, because they have a picture of him from the draft because I don't know why this guy always has no freaking action shots. But yeah, Zach Boychuk, complete and utter bust. I think he... I think he's still floating around in North America, but yeah. Next up, we got Darren Helm. Um, been on the Detroit since, I think, what, 07, 08 when they won that cup? I remember he came in there as a young guy, and he was left a, quite the impression. But yeah, he's still around. Still a decent player. Next up, uh, we got Jonathan Erickson. He's been around for a long time, too. Wait, is that 8, 9? Yeah, yeah 8, 9. Um, Jonathan Erickson. And for whatever reason, I got two of these. I uh, probably a mistake, but yeah, I got two of them. Jonathan Erickson. Um, then we got uh, <laughs> Vill. Uh, what? Is, is that something stuck there? I don't know. Billy Leno and his fantastic contract with the Buffalo Sabers. Jeez, how much was that? I already forget. That was a. Oh man, Buffalo. Uh, why is there? Oh, I gotta take that. That was like little hairs in there. But yeah, Billy Leno, Buffalo signed up to this fantastic deal. I think it was like five million bucks or something. <laughs> Multiple years. Oh, and then we got Byron Bits. I don't know why I have this one. This guy's a complete no name, I think. I don't know. Okay, then we got decent ones, semi decent. Jason Demers. Um Demers. Where the heck is he now? Is he on Arizona or Dallas? <laughs> Sorry, I know no wait, no. I think he's on Arizona, because he was traded from again. No, yeah, no. I think. All right. Um, Luke Adam, next up. Luke Adam. Thrilling. Um, Andrew, no. I was going to say Andrew Bonner, because I have 17 of them. Zach Camel, I think he was a first round, like, 07. Um, that picture was taken in wherever that is. I can't really see it. I think it's like Czech Republic or something. And then this one, you can already tell. This one's probably the best one I picked up. Um, absolutely, just one touch immediately. Slava Voinov, what a champion! Please come back to NHL. What? <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't go there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, yeah, let's just uh, let's just no ignore his heroic actions off ice. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, Brian Strait. <laughs> I was about to go there and just be a complete troll, but I'm not gonna do that. Brian Strait. Not too great. Not to rhyme. Next up is actually a good one. <laughs> this is surprising. Leon Dreisaitl. I've had this card for over a month now. Um, just been sitting. Yeah, Leon Dreisaitl. Um, he had an off year of 70 points. Connor had 108. So, I mean, that kind of is pretty off. But the year before, he was insane in the playoffs. And he had 70-something other points. So, this guy's really good. Um... Peter Shirelli is a problem in Edmonton. I'll tell you that right now. Get rid of him. They might actually win something. Um, I hope they do. That's just, I hate Peter Shirelli. Henrik Samuelson. And I hope Edmonton fans agree. Hey, I think this guy's on Edmonton too. Maybe. I don't know. Henrik Samuelson, this guy, yeah, I don't know where he's at. Devin Shore, he's been playing consistently for the Stars. And we got Jared McCann. Um... That was the Eric Goodbranson trade. Uh, McCann looks to be pretty good. Still a young guy, so we'll see. Dylan DeMello, uh, UFA. I don't know if he got picked up yet. I guess this is my second DeMello. Um, then we got Connor Brickley. He's been pretty consistent in the NHL. And then we got Hunter Um was, it, was that the trade for uh, Marcus Granlund, I would like to say, to Calgary? Yeah, well, this guy is not panning out. And then we got Brendan Gantz, who is like a fourth-line guy. Decent at what he does. So, yeah. And then we got some 16-17. Um, I got two here. Um, first up is Julius Honka. And I just realized I forgot to go get Troy Stetcher because it's number 164. And the base... There we go. The base, um, Troy Stetcher, because there's two Stetchers, there's a non-auto and a regular, I'm not going to go fish through my collection, but yeah. Um, I guess this was supposed to be number 164, and I guess they 
quickly replaced it with a 999 non-auto Stetcher instead, even though Stetcher had an auto. So I guess that's the mystery solved there. I still need Arturi Lekkinen signed. I still need Jake freaking Gensel. And I still need Mike Matheson. And if you're the guy that's hoarding Matheson, you need to screw right off, okay? You're really annoying me, all right? Some guy is freaking hoarding 40-something or more Mathesons. Go and uh, check out my cards. You'll see one seller has like 40-something of them. Seriously, what the... Mm, calm down. Okay, next up is John freaking Quenville. And I never <laughs> never would have seen the day where I've seen a Future Watch autograph of John Quenville. Because his is all redemptions. This was actually inserted in S 1718. SB Authentic. It's the black one, obviously. I paid like 80 bucks for it, which is not bad, considering people pay that or more for the base redemption. I'm going to count this towards the set. I don't care, all right? See, like, I count that and that, those, even though they're not... Well, those are the 999. I count that towards the set as well, okay? I don't care if it's not the authentic one or it's not the 999. This is going in the set, all right? John Quenville. I don't know about John Quenville. He's related to Joel, so he might have a chance. So, yeah, guys... It's like 700 degrees in here. I gotta shut this off. John Tavares is a Toronto Maple Leaf. <laughs> Stay tuned for something. I don't know what. I'm literally recording day of now, so. <laughs> yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.